Yo guys, James Renner Reviews here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add transitions inside of Streamlabs OBS. Before the video starts, I'd like to mention that on this channel, I primarily stick to techie reviews and tutorials, tutorials on Wednesdays, and techie reviews on Saturdays, so if you guys are new here, consider subscribing. I'd also like to mention, I stream on twitch.tv slash jadenquare, links down below in the video description below if you have a question about anything I talk about in this video, or just want to hang out and chat, feel free to click the link down below. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So in order to add a transition, you must have scenes, so I just added a starter pack from Streamlabs OBS, and we have our starting. Our be right back and our gameplay screen right here so i'm going to be adding a transition from the be right back to the live scene right here so if i click be right back and i go up to the settings bar right here i can click add transition now you can name the transition whatever you like i'm just going to name this test and once you've named it you can choose the type of transition you'd like to use so there's cuts fades swipes now cuts are very standard just cut transitions fade has a more graceful transition between scenes and swipe is from left to right and there's slide fade to color so i'm going to be showing you guys some of the different transitions how they work and the best ones to use in my opinion so a simple fade transition looks something like this you can also have multiple transitions and unclick them if you don't want them you can rename them and delete them so a fade transition looks something like this pretty simple and standard now if we go back to the settings right here and we hit add transition if we go to something that's a little bit more professional looking like a luma wipe we have a lot more customization the image and how we want it to appear so like burst effects and there's a lot to choose from so this is definitely a next level transition compared to a simple cut transition or a fade transition so a luma wipe looks something like this you can change it and in my opinion that just looks a little bit more professional and while it's not high tier and an insane like stinger transition if you're not someone who's into motion graphics this is something you can customize to your personal liking and can make your stream production value so much better so that is one of my favorite personal transition fade to color is kind of cool too you can change the color so maybe if your channel has maybe a theme color you can put the hex value in right here maybe it's red right here you can click on it and when someone it kind of has this little fade in so this works well if your twitch channel maybe has a color theme maybe it's blue or red this kind of you know shows off what your color theme is on your twitch channel so i personally think that the top two i recommend using are the luma wipe and the fade to color and those two just make your stream look a lot more professional if you're not a motion graphics designer so i hope this video was helpful for you guys and you learned how to add transitions inside of streamlabs obs if you did don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more videos like this thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video phoenix has hit a few times phoenix has a off. He has a off. <laughs> watch your left i'll smoke uh haven Okay. Smoked. Nice, nice. Go plant, go plant, go plant. I'll protect. Quick, 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 quick. Killed one on site. Nice. <sighs> Shoddy on me. I lagged in the line screen. I didn't plan. I'm running 100 ping right now. Oh, never mind. I'm fine. One enemy remaining. Oh. Nice. Here. Yeah. Wait, where is he? I aced! Oh, nice Let's go! Nice